Napa Rai. Okay lah. Huh? Then I know Mr. Idros. Can you stand up, Idros? Uh, for people who don't know him, he came all the way from Singapore. You know, to enter the Malaysia, you need passport or not? Yes. Still can come from Singapore, he's here. Give a good clap to him. <laughs> and also, we have somebody all the way from Kulim, huh? our international diamond Jega, Mana Jega. Ada nampak? Oh, ada. Good clap to him. Okay, Jega. Ah, today we have somebody from another country. You don't know from where? We have somebody from Brunei Darussalam. Alright? And you no need to do recording, you have to come out. Okay, we have uh, Aji Mahmood eh? all the way from Brunei. And Mahmood, please come here. Okay. Welcome here. He is our young man all the way from Brunei. Alright, we just came back from Brunei. I think also in the Facebook, the crowd, right? He really, really did a wonderful, wonderful job in Brunei. We had a full house, one of the best meetings we had in Brunei recently. Yeah? I think you ought to give a big clap to him. <laughs> As you know, a qualified diamond working towards his president diamond at any time. Okay, come on. Same question. There are so many MLM companies, right? I know you have done Elkin, you have done MW, you have done so many companies. Yes or no? Yes. Ah, he has done a lot of companies. <coughs> Initially, you know, when I talked to him, he like Kanadina, you know. I still remember, you know, mother, the uh, Datin Masura, joined for life. You know, first time, like, Kanadina is not interested in for life. Okay, what changed your mind? What is so great about this opportunity, for life and uh, transfer factor? I think, again, give a big clap to him. That is my job. So, what is it about for life? Well, let me just share with you. Uh, do you think I look healthy? Do you think I look healthy right now? Normal ass? Normal ass? Would you believe me if I told you I used to weigh 95 kilo? Maybe you can imagine me now. Huh? Like if, you, if, you, if you know me from before, I, I used to weigh 95 kilo. And um, just to share, I'm also diabetic. I'm a diabetic type too. Actually, my mother, she's diabetic type. So I have very big time. And um, what really caused me to, to love for life is because it saved my life. Literally saved my life. At the point that when I I reached at the very low point where my sugar level level hit 22. Uh, so those are people who know what that means, right? For those who don't know, and this is fasting by the way. So for those who don't know, a normal fasting uh, sugar level is between 4 and 6. Mine was 22. That is basically 4 times the normal. The doctor, when he found out, because I, one day I, I went to the clinic and then uh, they checked, because a very long time I didn't check my sugar level. Checked it, he straight away sent me to the hospital. Why? Because my blood, he said, and I quote, is so poisonous that not only is it plus, it's plus, 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 four times plus your blood is poisonous. I was basically dying. I lost weight from 95 to about 80. Not because I was working out, it's because my organs, my internal organs were shrinking. My heart, my lungs, everything was shrinking. If you, I mean, I don't have a presentation now, so I cannot show you. But if you look at it, I was very ill. But I decided that I want to take I want to not be in this situation anymore. I took insulin from 32 down to 11. So, and then they had to release me. But I promised myself that day, I will not be in this situation anymore. So what I did, I started working out. I started working out eight hours a day, six days a week. Now, you might think, wow, that's crazy. How can you do that? Because I have a gym. I own a gym. I, I started a gym, I opened a gym, I worked out six days a week. Eight hours a day for a whole six months, and then I became a more my sugar level everything. But then I start working at the restaurant. When I start working at the restaurant, back up again. <laughs> yes, true. And this was before I got married. And uh, and when I started uh, taking for life, it actually went back to normal again because I took uh, at the time I was taking thirty capsules of for life products. I'm not talking about advanced. I'm not just talking about plus. 
I'm not even just talking about Rio Villa. I'm talking about Lupus, DMC, CV, Cardio, Mail Pro, Probiotics. Because, uh, I, you know, I, I want to be healthy. And that's only in the morning, 30 capsules in the morning. We're not talking about at night again. Because then I will take like tea for life. And again, another 30 pills. Depending lah. Um, nowadays, I don't take that much anymore lah, thankfully. I, I only take what is required. For example, glucose, because diabetes, you cannot, you cannot get rid of diabetes. It will stay with you forever. But all we can do is control it. Now, that is speaking from a diabetic. Huh? When, when doctors talk about diabetes, they don't know because they're not diabetic themselves. They may know somebody who's diabetic, but they themselves are not diabetic. And they are, I, I, I even, you know, quite with my doctor, you know, because at the time I wanted to apply for insurance. And then the, they asked that I need to check with the doctor for my health report. Lab. So when I went to them and asked them about the health report, they said, I'm not going to endorse you. I say, why? Because you don't listen to me. I give you metformin, I give you the Macron, you take it and then you throw it in the bed. Of course, like, do you know what's going to happen to me if I keep on taking metformin, if I take, keep on taking the Macron, it's going to kill my guapiga, my, my kidneys. And once both of my kidneys are gone, what are you going to do? You die, right? Otherwise, you, you replace it. But, you know, is it, is it that you can go to the shop and buy a kidney? No, right? Even if you go for a transplant, maybe it'll take you a few years. And then, even then, is it compatible? So this is the argument that I had with my doctor at the time. Don't want to endorse me. Fine, I said. You go look at my HbA1c. Uh, for those who don't know again, this is basically the results after every three months. So even though, uh, you know, like say I don't eat sugar, sugar today, tomorrow I'm going to take the test. No, you won't lie. Because this is over a three months period. So, and then they will take an average. So I told the doctor, look at my results. What does it say? Okay, January, uh, again, I don't have it here, I cannot show you, but then January, okay, 15, okay, and then three months later, April, 10.4, and then again, what is that, April, May, June, July, July, 9, see, what else we want, from 15 to 9, in not just three months, uh, we're talking about three, six, nine months, result, after taking glucose, after taking advance, after taking Rubida, actually another story I want to check. I lost 20 kilos within two months just taking Rubida. No exercise, no diet, other things. I eat, if you ask my wife, I eat like a horse. I eat five times a day. No, no kidding. She will tell you. She will have to. Honey, I'm, I'm hungry. Can you cook me something? <laughs> she don't agree, but it's, I eat five times a day and no, you know, no problem. Like a normal person, not like a diabetic. When I say like a diabetic, you have to take care of what? Your carbohydrate intake, whether or not you drink sugary drink or not. You know, uh, when I was working out six hours a day, I mean, sorry, eight hours a day, six days a week, I have to watch what I eat all the time. I cannot eat rice, I cannot eat the oily food, I cannot eat the fatty food, no sugar, no salt. It's no life. But I have to do that because. You know, if I don't, I will die. So I'd rather live and, you know, live a life of uh, maybe not living, lah, let's say, because you have to control what you eat, uh, or, or die. You know, so so I, I, I uh, but um, then again, when I talk about Rivida, I don't take just one bottle. In one month, I take six bottles. So uh, that's the, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna talk about this in way, and, 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 and you know, just by drinking only, no need to exercise. Drink six bottles. Yeah, can. Otherwise, you have to work out. You know, at least thirty minutes every day, lah. That's my advice. So, um, and uh, just a short check on the business side. On the business side, is is amazing. It's all I can say because before I used to work. I used to work from the age of 15 years old. Now I'm 32. Huh? I'm 30, 32 this year. I've been working since I was 15 years old. And every time, I, the harder I work, the more money my boss makes. True or not? On a normal, I work for the government. I work for uh, banks, three, two, two banks, two, three, I think two banks, yeah. I used to work for Shell. But the more, the harder I work, the more money the boss makes. And what do I get? Oh, maybe bonus. Yeah. 
After three years, yeah, okay, I'll give you a raise. It's ridiculous. That's why I decided to quit. I didn't work for anyone for the past five years now. And I've been doing for life for three years. And even doctor, you, you ask doctor, was he an immediate success after three years? No. The first two years, I didn't want to listen to doctor. You know, he came to my house to do a talk. You know what was I? Upstairs playing video games. He was downstairs doing a talk at my house, and I was upstairs, wasting my time. Now, it's incredible that doctor came all the way to Brunei and, and gives his talk here. You're so lucky here, because you have doctor. In Brunei, there's no one. It's only just me. So I have to learn everything from the bottom. You know, if I, even if I ask for support, maybe Kamanja comes, doctor will come, my mom will come, maybe once a month. And that's only, that's, 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 you know, I mean, you have doctor here, you, I mean, they will help you, for sure. And then, the money that actually is given to me from Olai runs my business. It helped me launch my business. And the harder I work into for life, the more money I make, the more money I can use as a capital to start another business. How, much, how many businesses do you think I have right now? Three. More than that. More than three. I have eight businesses right now. And one of them, one of them is going to conduct, the, conduct the, all these uh, talks. The doctor last week, the, the, that was so awesome for me. That's the, for me, that is an achievement. Because what I want to do is help people and share. And, and you know, you have it here. You have such a big population. Can you imagine Brunei only has 500,000 population? And that's including foreigners, not just local. You have here millions, even in Kuala Lumpur alone. If I can make it in the $500,000 population, how much more successful can you be in a population of millions? And you know, and, and, and I've, I, I've uh, also uh, been, I've just finished a course actually also about wealth management, how to make $150 million. You know how much those kind of courses cost? 10000 Singapore dollars. So that's basically times two or three. You get this for free. So, so I mean, just from my heart to your heart, I just want to tell you, go to the trainings like what doctor said. It, it, it will, you know, and then, and then the most important question, the most, the best thing I've learned these past few days is, have you done the best that you can do? Can you really ask yourself personally and ask, have I done the best that I can? And I can swear to you, if you do the best that you can, if you can live, eat, sleep, success in your mind, focus, I want to be a QD this month, you can. Definitely you can. Just as long as you do your best, do those call calling, do meet your friends, meet meet whoever, talk, you know, you sit down to go, hey, you know, you know, uh, how are you, how are you doing, what's your name, yeah, okay. So, you know, sometimes I meet most of my sales are actually just by meeting people, old, uh, old people, uh, no, sorry, not old people, but uh, relations, uh, like friend, an old friend of mine, an old colleague, and oh, how are you doing? Oh, not so good, you know, my family, I've got somebody at the hospital right now. Like that, I've talked about for life. That is an invitation for me to talk about for life. Oh, I know my brother is having a heart attack. That is an invitation to talk about for life. Now, I'm, uh, now I'm, why, why I'm very passionate about this, because doctor was mentioning this before, about the heart attack, about the heart. Last month, my first cousin, who's the same as, age as me, 32, dropped dead from his desk. He was, he's also working at the army, not the navy, I think maybe. He dropped dead because of a heart attack. My age, 32 years old. So when you were asking about the, the you know, how to die, you know, yeah, he's like 50, but he doesn't have a heart problem, you know, no. It doesn't matter, like you say, anything, it, at any time it could happen just like that. He was healthy. He doesn't have a heart problem. The family doesn't have a history of heart problem, but then he just locked. And by that time he reached uh, the hospital already, he passed away. So you never know. And I feel responsible because I didn't share it to him. Maybe, you know, if I talk to him about for life, maybe 
he still be alive today. But I'll never know that now. Because I never <coughs> shared with him, and he's my first cousin again. My first cousin died because of cancer, right? At my age. So, so don't even think about it. No, don't, don't even think about, oh yeah, he's an he's a international diamond, world international diamond, whatever. Don't focus on what they're achieving. <coughs> you never know their story. You never know my story. Do something about your story. Do whatever it takes for you to become successful. Do the best you can. Always ask yourself, is this the best that I can do? So I think that's <laughs> so, I think that's so more than what you expected, Dr. So anyway. <laughs> Thank you for even even Dr. Andrew don't read. <laughs> it's so amazing. I will not know Dr. Tamil, I will not know Dr. Edwin, I will not know Dr. Ronald if I didn't do for life. It's so amazing the thing. Uh, this is also another thing.